Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome you to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. It's going to be a great day, a powerful day, an awesome day. Let us give glory to our God. Let us magnify the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God of faithfulness without injustice, the God who gave us the privilege of seeing another day, a new day, a powerful day. We make great his name because from the rising of the sun to the going down of it, his name shall always be great. He's the God who takes care. He's the God who blesses. He's the God who heals, who delivers. He's the God who shames the enemy. He's the God who makes us to overcome. He's the God who fills our mouth with praise. He's the God who, when we look around, we see what he has done. The enemy meant for us to have been buried now and forgotten. He kept us alive. He kept you alive. He kept me alive. He blesses us. He proves himself as a mighty God, a great God, an awesome God. We say today, this is truly the day he has made. Our heart rejoices. We sing praises to him like Hannah did in 1 Samuel chapter 2. My heart rejoices in the Lord. The Lord has made me strong. Now I have an answer for my enemies. That's you. You have an answer for your enemies. I rejoice because you rescued me. Lord, we give you praise for rescuing us. No one is holy like the Lord. There is no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. We magnify our God because he is the rock. And there is no rock like him. Stop acting so proud and haughty. Don't speak with such arrogance. For the Lord is a God who knows what you have done. He will judge your actions. The bow of the mighty is now broken. Mighty arrows have been broken for your sake. Mighty bows have been broken for your sake. And those who stumbled are now strong. Lord, we bless you for making us strong. Those who were well fed are now starving. And those who were starving are now full. Jesus, we bless you for blessing our table, for giving us something, something to eat, to drink, to be alive. We return the glory to you this morning. The childless woman now has seven children. Oh, glory. Where there was barrenness, the Lord has given us fruitfulness. For this, we glorify him. And the woman with many children wastes away. The Lord gives both death and life. He brings some down to the grave, but raises others up. Lord, we magnify you for raising us up. It may offend the enemy, but that's what you have done. And we have no apologies for the workings of our God. The Lord makes some poor and others rich. He brings some down, lifts them up. Thank you. We are among the lifted. You lifted us by your mighty hand. You lifted us so we will not know shame. You lifted us so you can put the enemy to shame. Thank you, Lord. He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. Jesus, Jesus, we praise you. We magnify you from the garbage dump, from nowhere. You lifted us. You saved us. You cleaned us up. You blessed us up. You made us to be counted among the living, among the blessed. Who are we? Ordinary dust. From a humble background, you took us and you made our life to be worth mentioning. To you be glory. He sets them among princes, placing them in seats of honor. Lord, we thank you for taking away the seat of shame and placing us among the people of honor. We return the glory to you. For all the earth is the Lord's and he has set the world in order. Yes, Lord, take the glory. He will protect his faithful ones, but the wicked will disappear in darkness. Jesus, 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 thank you for your protection. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for your power to work in our life. Not our power, but all that you have done. No one will succeed by strength alone. Lord, we magnify you. In our strength, we are failures. For one, loss of breath for five minutes and we are gone. But all the years we have lived, we're still breathing. 
Our heart is still pumping. Our liver still works. Our tongue can still praise you. Our hands can still be lifted. Our mouth can still sing. Our eyes can see your glory. We return the praise to you. We return the glory to you. We return the honor to you. Not the medicines we take, not the drugs we drink, not the exercise we do, but it is the Lord who has kept us. So, Lord, we magnify you. We bless your name. Those who fight against the Lord will be shattered. <laughs> he thunders against them from heaven. The Lord judges throughout the earth. Everyone who has raised their hand against us, we thank you because it is not against us. You have taken on our fight. You are fighting our fight. You are winning our battle. You are making, you are making us strong in the camp of the enemy. You are putting shame. You are taking on battles we don't even know of. And you are winning on our behalf. We return praise to you. We return glory to you. We who were taught to never be anything. You've given us a reason to magnify you. To celebrate you. To make your name great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He gives power to his king. He increases the strength of his anointed. Lord, we bless your name. We magnify you. We celebrate you. We rejoice because you've given power to your anointed. You've given power to your anointed. You've given us strength. You've given us power. You've given us a mouth to be able to make great your name, to make boast to the world, to the unsaved, that Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus delivers. We have seen your hand in our work, in our life. You have seen your hand in our homes. We have seen your hand of provision, your hand of power, your hand of protection, your hand of provision, your hand of of your presence in our life. We return glory. We return honor. We return adoration. We return praise. We thank you. You have not dealt with us according to our weakness, but according to your greatness. Today we praise you. Today we honor you. Today we praise you. Today we honor you. In the name of Jesus. Maliko shata talariko sarada irebo shata talariko ta. You answer our prayer and you make great beyond what we can imagine. Take the glory this morning. Take the honor this morning. Alpha Omega, you are worthy of our praises. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, welcome everyone who is with us this morning from the four corners of the earth, wherever you have joined from. We celebrate the goodness of God in your life, the faithfulness of God in your life. We bless the Lord for you. And as we have magnified him now, there will always be uh, reasons to magnify the Lord in your life this year. Every day there will always be a reason to make great the name of the Lord. Every day there will always be a reason to celebrate the faithfulness of our God. The God who gave Hannah the mouth to talk. After years of barrenness, he shall give you a mouth to speak, a mouth to talk, a mouth to celebrate among people and to say what the Lord has done for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord who made his power known in the life of this woman, Hannah, you make his power known in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not bow to adversity. You will not bow to problems. You will not bow to troubles. You will not bow to shame in Jesus' name. One more time, welcome everybody to the platform. Uh, meet me this morning to just go straight into exhortation and uh, we just pray we have magnified our god he is ready to bless you nothing can stop it for he said if i be lifted up i will draw men unto me we have lifted him up this morning god will draw you closer 
draw you with the hand of power, draw you with the hand of healing, and you will become a reference point. Somebody on this altar today, you will become a reference point. We serve the God who is more than enough. The God who is El Shaddai, awesome God, mighty God. And his, God doesn't bear name. His names are not appellations. They are not aliases. You know, people will bear aliases based on how people perceive them. But the name of the Lord is the name that reveals his action, his ability, his essence, his glory, his power, his workings, his, uh, his covenant with his people. The covenant name of God reveal what he can do. Payudasi, te coronambre, nalisha librosa, ricabrodoja. Genesis 17 verse 1, and when Abram was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am almighty. Walk before me and be perfect. This is the name of God El Shaddai. When the Lord God revealed himself to Abraham, he used the name El Shaddai which the King James Version translates as Almighty God, El Shaddai. God who is more than enough, El Shaddai, is one of his covenant names through which he revealed himself to Israel. In Hebrew, El Shaddai means the one who is sufficient. Please make sure you take your phone, screen grab the link to this morning's morning glow or take the one that I've been sent to you, send to 10 people on your phone. Get them notified that we are here today. We are declaring the, com the covenant name of God, the covenant names of God. And as we call on those covenant names, healing will be done. Breakthrough will be done. Miracles will be done. Testimonies will be done. So he is the God who is more than enough. Hallelujah more than enough in other words when you have a need is bigger than that need when you have a situation it's bigger than the situation when you have a battle it's bigger than the battle when you have a challenge it's bigger than the challenge it's bigger than big is greater than great is mightier than mighty there is no word in human language good enough to describe this awesome god He's the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He's the God of Matthew and Shimalo. He is my God. I believe he is your God. The Bible says in Genesis 15, verse 13 to 14, Thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that is not theirs, and shall serve them. And they shall afflict, afflict them 400 years, and also that nation whom they shall serve, Will I judge? And after all, they shall come out with great substance. Wow. God already told them what will happen. But he said, by a mighty hand, I, the El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough, will bring you out of, out of the place this morning. Someone on this line. I am prophesying to you, Makatebele Dozoyaba, that the God who is more than enough will do miracle after miracle, miracle after miracle, miracle after miracle in your life. As the children of Israel stood on the seashore when they came out of Egypt, thinking, what shall we do? The Egyptians are coming. The Red Sea is in front of us. The mountains are on the side. Where do we turn? Remember his name again, El Shaddai. The name he gave their father 430 years previously. He said, I am more than enough, more than the sea in front of you, more than the mountain to the side, more than the Egyptian army behind you, more than enough. The Egyptian army attempted to follow. <laughs> After God had made the way for the children of Israel, they drowned. 
more than enough. I have to cover the real rivers, can the real rivers tell you that the God who is more than enough, more than enough, more than enough, will show up for somebody this morning. I just saw something. I saw as if they wrote some rubbish against your destiny, and I saw the hand mightier than you tearing them. More than enough. More than enough. In fact, not a little dirt will fall on you, for the hand of the Lord will clean it off. You will not see it anymore. More than enough. More than enough. More than enough. More than enough. Rikabara Rosha. Ike Yarabara. When the Egyptian army attempted to follow, they drowned in the depths of the sea. Ah, that is <laughs> just not a miracle. It is God, God, God that really made a way for them. Hirabosha, Hikabarosi. So I declare to somebody's life that you will experience the God who is more than enough. Exodus 15, 13 uses, uh, 15, 8 uses a word that is amazing. It says, when the water made way for them and, and stood on the left hand, it says it congealed. It congealed. And if you think, how can water congeal? Go to the, to the North Pole. Go to the South Pole. You will see ice. You will see water. Ice that is as big as a whole city. So if God can make it happen there, he can make it happen here. The God who created the whole of the South Pole, that is all ice. The North Pole to be all ice. In fact, some people count the North Pole as a whole continent. That's how big it is. He is going to shock the world on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Ah, more than enough also means if he wants to do what is just not possible, he will do it. Joshua said, God, we need to fight this battle to a finish. We need to finish these people. Joshua, the only way of knowing how to fight it is to tell the sun to stand still. Now, that's crazy. For the sun to stand still, really, it meant that there was sun shining. The earth and the sun had to be in alignment for light to shine for them. Jesus, Jesus. Every law of gravity that God has created that makes our earth to revolve around the axis of the sun, that makes our earth to revolve around the axis of the sun, God suspended gravity so that the sun will continue to shine more than enough. The sun stood still for man more than enough. This morning, Kayabada, Rekodaba, by his name Jehovah, you will know him by his name Jehovah. You will see him by his name Jehovah. You will experience his grace by his name Jehovah. The door will open. Elijah praying on Mount Carmel also experienced the God who is more than enough. He called for fire to fall from heaven and consume the sacrifice. The prophets of Baal were defeated. Verse Kings 18 from verse 17 to 40. He said, let the God who answers by fire. Ayadi kono kabari telere mari toro na shindi yanari kabara zonari abara toro zebari kali rabara hira ba 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 hira na na raba kosha darara hira ba koso taya more than enough more than enough the El Shaddai will be with you and he will give you testimony more than enough this God is unlimited unlimited unlimited. And David's mighty men of war were also showing this power of our God. One time, one of them, David raised some captains. These guys came to him broke, broken, distressed men. But when the power of El Shaddai came upon them, they were no longer men. They were not ordinary men. They were extraordinary men. One of them, the Bible says, he held a sword and fought. 
and killed a thousand men alone. When the battle was over, it took time to be able to separate his hand and the sword. Ah, yeah, 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 Korabas. Hey! The Bible says one of them had, he, he met a man who was like a lion on a winter's day in a pit. He overcame that one. Glory to God. Extraordinary men doing extraordinary feats. They were not wounded or killed. They overcame their enemy because of the power of El Shaddai in the middle of the war. This morning, oh, somebody on this altar, I had altar. The power of El Shaddai will back you. The power of El Shaddai will make room for you. The power of El Shaddai will go ahead of you. The power of El Shaddai. Please send the link to 10 people this morning. We are calling on the name of Jehovah. Victory will follow you. Favor will follow you. Testimony will follow you. Healing will follow you. The hand of our God will be at work. The hand of our God will be at work. The hand of our God will be at work. Reno Maki Rosa, Yabato, Ikiria, Habaradado, Hibaranedia, Hiradanadaba, Hibarono Sokaya, Hibaroto Radaki, Hibarado Rosheka, Hibrana Radikosa, Hibrano Toshikiada, Hibrodo Rosekia, and Navaradoskaya, Hiranedo Sari, Harida Dabarosha, Hiradadadada, 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 Hiravarosha, Hiravosa, Landereko, Hibarande, Hiraba, the God whose name is Father. The God whose name is awesome. The God whose name is greatness. The God whose name is maker of a way. He shall make way for you. He shall fight your fight battle. He will give you testimony in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible calls him Jehovah Rapha. The God who heals. Natrinikuta. Nishkaibaliza. We lay hand on somebody on the altar this morning. I call Rafa to heal you. 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 Deliver you from the bed of languishing. Come out in the name of Jesus. Cancer. Dry up. Uh -uh. There is no power greater than our God. This cancerous thing, this cell, this evil called cancer tries to defy the prayer of believers it may defy science but it cannot defy the prayer of believers so this morning i call upon the lord everyone on this altar who has one ill health or the other i declare and decree the god whom we serve will fight your battle the god whom we serve will fight your battle the god whom we serve will fight your battle i declare total healing total health total healing total health total healing total health I rebuke that sickness. I rebuke that disease. I command your body to come alive. I lose you from the grip of darkness. Tonati ito suiti yaka. Tarundi lisha ibarozi. Rika kotolo barika. Nando ishka raweuja yenimbra karuzi rekenga rononta rekebro toramosha yanekisa ratu kababa he is Rafa the God who heals Exodus fifteen twenty six Exodus fifteen twenty six I will not bring any of the diseases of Egypt upon you today hey <laughs> male ikaro mareke taloro sekia tronati aterenosha ikerenose karokoshka the God who made your body to be healed He made you so that if there's sickness you should be healed even animals I've seen videos of tigers eating grass. Lions eating grass once in a while to heal a part of their body. Amazing. How did they know? This God who made it for animals, how much more you? From him you can draw the strength to be totally healed. So someone on this altar, I take authority over sickness, over disease. I command your healing today. Lose, 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 lose freedom in the name of Jesus. Total health. If you're on this altar today, and they said there's some cancerous cell in your body. Ah, I call on El Shaddai. I call on El Shaddai. The God who is more than enough. And I rebuke that sickness. I command your healing. 
in the name of Jesus. Total health and healing this morning. Rapha will touch you. The healer will touch you. Exodus 15, 26, and he said, if you will give earnest heed to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight and give ear to his commandment and keep all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you which I have put on the Egyptians for I, the Lord, I'm your healer. Somebody receive your healing this morning. In Jesus' name. This is speaking not only about physical healing. It is speaking of emotional healing. That woman who's broken. That man who's broken. Who's been hurt very deeply. Be healed this morning. Be set free this morning. Be healed this morning. Be set free this morning. Takoto. Takata. Hikato. Pranota. Hikita. Ratika. Notote. I see somebody who couldn't sleep all night. Uh, because you have some infection and the left side matter of fact of your of your of your of, of your of your of your mouth i lay hand on you right now I command your healing in the name of jesus in the name of jesus somebody is having serious lower abdominal pain serious lower abdominal pain receive your healing this morning the Lord Jesus sets you free. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Total health and healing. Wherever you are this morning, God sets you free. Another name of our God is Jehovah Nisi. The God who is our banner. <laughs> In other words, he's the one over you. And anything he writes on that banner is who he is. In so Songs of Solomon, Solomon said, I'm my beloved, and my beloved is mine. His banner over me is a banner of love. Exodus 17, verse 15, Amplified Bible says, And Moses built an altar and called it the name of it. The Lord is my banner. Moses built this altar. To commemorate the victory God gave Israel over Amalek. Aaron and Hur had held up Moses' hand until sunset. And while, did, while they did so, Israel prevailed. This morning, I want you to know, the banner of the Lord is the banner of prevailing, the banner of victory. We raise the banner of Jehovah against everything militating against you. We raise the banner of Jehovah against everything speaking against your destiny. We raise the banner of Jehovah against everything that have raised his voice to bring you down. They fail. As the Lord lives, they fail. As the Lord lives, they fail. As the Lord lives, they fail. They will fall, you will rise. 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 As they are attacking you, the arrows go back to them. Ah, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Nisi, Nisi will take on your fight. He will be the banner over you. <laughs> they, Moses called the place Jehovah and the sea because as her and Aaron raised the hand of Moses, victory followed. Naidish, Ramando, the enemy, the Amaleks, Amalekites were routed. God will rout the enemy. Everything that has made you unhappy, depressed, hurt in recent time, I call upon the Lord. He wins your battle. He wins your battle. He wins your battle. He brings you victory. He wins your battle. He brings your victory. He wins your battle. He brings the victory. He wins your battle. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yaro Baba. Zalon Regeta Shaya. Jehovah Nisi takes on your case. The ban of the Lord shall be over you for protection. The ban of the Lord shall be over you for healing. The ban of the Lord shall be over you for deliverance. The ban of the Lord shall be over you for healing. 
for deliverance. God's banner shall never leave you. It shall be for love. When we see you, we will see the hand of God. When we see you, we will see the love of God. When we see you, we will see the greatness of God in this season. Everywhere you go from today, the banner of protection, the banner of love, the banner, <laughs> the banner of grace shall be over your life. In the name of Jesus, anywhere you go, the banner of the Lord will speak for you, 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 will speak for you. The banner of God will be over your life, over your family, over everything you do. In the name of Jesus, when that banner, when the hand of Moses was raised, he had an advantage over a mightier army. This morning, a tenosia. I prophesy into your life that you will have victory over the enemy. Victory over the enemy. We lift your hand today, you who is on this altar, wherever you are. I lift your hand up. And as your hand is lifted, Jehovah lifts your hand. Your hand will not come down until you have the victory. This day as we lift your hand, your hand is lifted for victory. Your hand is lifted for favor. Your hand is lifted for blessing. Your hand is lifted for glory. Your hand is lifted for deliverance. Your hand is lifted. <laughs> God goes ahead. He takes over the battle. He wins, 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 he wins. Every altar and blood speaking against you because they bring blood to speak against you. That's why they go shed certain blood. Animal, donkey, whatever, dog, goat, so they can speak against you. We silence that blood because there is another blood that speaks better things. That is the blood of Jesus. And any altar that is speaking against you, <laughs> maybe you don't know, before the Philistines will come and march against Israel, they will first go to the altar of Dagon. They will call on Dagon's spirit to come with them. And if Israel was lax and loose, that's why they are winning. That's why they are winning. Every time Israel had the wrong king, a king who is careless, drunk all the time, that's why Dagon, who, the altar they brought seemed to be winning. Every time the children of Israel move away from Jehovah, that's why the altar of Baal will be winning. But when, the, when Jehovah Nisi, when the hand of the Lord is raised, the altar of God wins. This morning, we bring the blood against their blood. We bring the altar of God against their altar. The blood against their blood. The altar of God against their altar. The blood against their blood. The altar of God against their altar. There is victory in your house. There's testimony in your house. Maka oto sapretesha rigo. The Lord will be your banner, winning your fight, winning your battle, winning your fight, winning your battle. He kalaba kuzuka ikaradara. The Amalekites were very difficult to fight. They are like all these terrorists you see that you hear of nowadays. They are nomads. They don't stay in one place. Today's terrorists have changed the face of war. In, in regular war, enemies run from weapons. Terrorists run to the weapon. You want to shoot, they say shoot them. Because they've been promised paradise in their religion. But this morning, every, every nomadic spirit, nomadic demons, moving around in groups, homeless spirits, we bring the blood against their blood. We bring the altar of God against their altar. We bring the blood of God, Jesus against their blood. The blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We bring the altar of God, the altar of the Almighty. That's, did you notice? Every time Israel won in the Bible, the Bible says, and they raised an altar to Jehovah, and they built an altar to Jehovah. When they crossed the Red Sea, they built an altar. When they crossed the Jordan, they put 12 stones together, one for each family. 
they built an altar this morning we raise the altar of jehovah jehovah nisi jehovah nisi jehovah nisi jehovah nisi jehovah nisi against every amaleka spirit nomadic demons that move from place to place that, that move from place to place these are not familiar spirits that's another set of demons they know how to be familiar with a person and hang around him and he doesn't know they are there a man can be proud and not know he's proud. Takaro Sheri, every nomadic spirit, Amalekite spirit, wanting to hang around you today, we raise that name of Jehovah, Jehovah Nisi. We raise a banner bigger than them. We raise a banner bigger than them. Every issue that wants to be a nomadic matter around you to come and be hanging around your family. Poverty, nomadic spirit. That thing, rebuke it and command it to live your life. The Bible says, as long as Moses lifted his hand, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hand, the Amalekites, nomadic spirit, was winning. Exodus 17 11. Father, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us for lowering our hand, lowering our worship, for lowering our praise, for lowering our cry. What, forgive us for thinking we made it. We've made it already. Ha! We lowered our prayer. We lowered our worship. We lowered our magnifying you. Today we raise the banner again. Our hands shall not grow weary. For the word says, as Moses' arms grew weary, <laughs> as his hand grew weary, the Americans were winning until his brother. And a man named her raised his hand. Today, I stand as your brother. I stand as her and Aaron. I lift your victory. I lift your testimony. I lift your hand. You shall not be weary. Victory in your camp. Victory in your camp. Victory in your camp. Testimony in your camp. Turn around in your camp. Turn around in your camp. Victory in your camp. There's somebody on the altar this morning, you just feel overwhelmed because it's coming from four, ten areas. You just, which one do I face first? Every nomadic spirit, Amaleka spirit, attacking you, attacking your finances, attacking your health, attacking your body, I take authority over them today. You shall not be overwhelmed. Peace, 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 peace. Victory. Victory. The hand of the Lord will be upon you. The testimony of Jesus Christ will be awesome in your life. As Moses raised his hand, he was praying for the success of the Israelite army. I pray for your success today. I pray for your healing today. I pray for your testimony today. I pray for your lifting today. I pray for your victory today. The prayers of a righteous man is effective. James 5, 16. On this altar today, we call upon the Lord. We lift you up. You, 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 you. We lift you up before the Lord. Ah, every Amalekite spirit that have come against you in recent time, nomadic spirit. And nomads are hard to fight. You have to be following and looking for their camp all over the place. It was It was a nomadic group that came to carry everything David had. It was a nomadic people that came to carry everything David had, his wife, his children, every nomadic spirit fighting your family. They, we pull them down. We pull them down. We pull them down. Altar against altar. Blood against blood. We bring the blood of Jesus against the blood that speaks against you. Wherever they share the blood to try to call on some demonic God <laughs> who come battle with the Lord, who come battle with the Lord. I say nobody. Karujiriaka, Rika Marusi, Rani Shaloriba, Riko Marigazia, 
Rano Janongeresa, Regesa Lorote Libra, Ranongarish Isha, Raliga Zugabota, Raliga Ramatuzi, Ramanga Roshkeita, Rigevozuli Rabati, Rabagozuli Kirivarota. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Jesus. 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 Every Amalekite spirit that have come against your destiny in recent time, they fail. They fail. They fail. Every nomadic power moving around the coast, I walk, they run away. <laughs> I used to just... I used to just wonder why my country, Nigeria, cannot overcome Boko Haram until God kind of opened my eye to see what nomads do. In warfare, you need to be able to know where the enemy is and predict them. Nomadic spirits, they move around. You see them in the south, in the north, in the tomorrow, and then they don't care. They are ready to die. They are nomads. They are not normal. <laughs> They are nomads moving around. Today, every nomadic entity that is throwing bombs in your camp, in your life, are moving away. You don't even know where the arrow is coming from. We release the arrows of God, the arrows of God, the arrows of God. We release the arrows of God, we release the arrows of God against every hand that comes against you. You know, some people they just sit down and they think they should attack your destiny attack your future but the more they throw the arrows the more you go back to their camp and create a havoc and cause a devastation in the name of jesus 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 uh, today I stand in the place of Moses and I lift you up. I speak your victory. I speak your favor. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We refuse to say our flesh is weak. We say our flesh is strong. Our mind is strong. Our spirit is strong. You are victorious. You are victorious. You are blessed. In the name of Jesus, the altar of Jehovah Nisi is winning your battle. Ha, the nomadic spirits, the Amalekites are failing for your sake. In the name of Jesus, Kaya Kutosh Kaibia, Renate de Toramia, Rika Hata Hobreada, Ishkulibranita, Nahiko Sori Kaidaba, Maruto Sendia Rirabo. Today we declare. Jehovah Nisi, God will be the banner over your household. God will be the banner over your family. God will be the banner over everything that concerns you. God will be the banner over everything that concerns you. God will be the banner. Rana chiku to ta 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 ta. Ira kara da da da. Ira ra 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 da. Ora ba ra ro ro sha. Ira makuski ara. Ira ba ba ko ya da. Ira ra ra ro ro sha. Ikara ba ba. Ikuri andi. Listen, Amalekites are not some great army. They are a band of robbers. They don't have the greatest commanders. They are a band of robbers, a band of thieves, a band of people who want to hurt you. Amalekites, <laughs> you, you, you just read about them. <laughs> they are just, you know, trespassers traveling all over the place, anywhere they can see something to steal, they steal and run again. Today, Every trespasser of your joy, everyone walking against your peace, the hand of God is against them. 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 He rabo kushkiada. Rano kaita li kabakuros kiada. He ra 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 ra. He ra 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 ra. He ra roshe kiada. Parakositi aramato. God gives you victory. In Jesus' name. The Bible makes us understand that part of the part of <laughs> the Jehovah Nisi as the children of Israel traveled was a pillar of fire. That's part of the banner raised around them. So when you saw the pillar of fire, you knew that's the children of Israel. 
May God spill our fire. Go with you. A cloud of smoke also went with them. That cloud of smoke was like air conditioning. It blocked the sun's rays of 40 something degrees. And the place became cool in the daytime. Fire warmed them in the nighttime. May the very presence of God go with you in the name of Jesus. He didn't only fight their battle. Nisi also provided a blessed condition. Now I declare this day in the name of Jesus. Hayakoshaya. As a result of him being the pillar of fire day, nighttime, cloud daytime, there was no loss of life, no loss of joy. I speak into your life today because Jehovah Nisi is with you. There will be no loss. 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 There will be favor. There will be testimony. There will be testimony. There will be glory. There will be testimony. There will be testimony. There will be glory. There will be testimony. There will be glory. There will be testimony. The Lord will be your banner. Your banner of safety. Your banner of satisfaction, your banner of protection in the name of Jesus. Banner. Banners are for celebration. The sound of celebration will be in your house. We raise flags, we raise banners to say we are celebrating. I prophesy to your life this morning something to celebrate. Something to celebrate. <laughs> Glory to God. Something to sell. I saw them coming in with baskets full into your house. With baskets full. It's not just baskets. Then I saw, I see two or three people are carrying something. It's long. And they're not sure. They're just bringing in blessings. They're bringing in the blessings. They're bringing in the blessings. They're bringing in the blessings. One of it looked like, it's like a, a, a box. And it's full of fishes. I like to believe it means supply and abundance and increase. And they're bringing it into your house. The one carrying buckets of blessing, the one carrying, oh, glory to God, the one carrying this long thing that's full of fishes, all bringing it into your house. The banner of celebration shall be raised in your house. The banner of celebration shall be raised in your house. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. You shall have reasons to celebrate and reasons to magnify God. Banner also is remembrance. When we raise banners, when we raise flags, we remember. Sometimes when something happens, they raise a flag. This morning we raise a flag of divine remembrance. God will remember you. God will remember you. They raise the banner to remember how God gave them victory. Somebody on this altar this morning. Ah, you shall raise a banner of remembrance. If the victory will follow you. 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 If you are on this altar this morning and you have sent some kind of attack on your health, on your finance, on your life, or something, I want you to stretch your hand right now because I'm still picking in my spirit somebody who needs all kinds of victory because you've had recent onslaught of the enemy against something that has to do with your life. Stretch your hand towards the altar and I begin to, I want you to begin to say amen. I stand on this altar today and I declare and decree. I make announcements into the realm of the spirit that the Lord who raises, who raises the hand of men, who gives men victory, he shall give you victory. 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 The Amalekites you see today, you shall see them no more. You shall see them no more. You shall see them no more. You shall see 
see them no more. You shall see them no more. You shall see them no more. Kaki kuska hita riku kida hirabosa hiramosha hika kosukai arenosi karidoshka arenosa. Every hand of evil that was raised against you, they fall. We raise the hand of power. We raise the hand of victory. We raise the hand of testimony. Anything that still remains. Any issue that still remains somewhere, any battle that still remains somewhere that is troubling your spirit, that is troubling your heart, that I'm picking in this place, I speak victory, 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 I speak victory. Nakushka, Atitura, Hitikera, Mikutale, Taroshoki, Hikaraba, Rekozoba, Janariki, Ragozora, Hikarozo, Rikatiku, Rita pro si ka ri to za bri ko sha tara di kara re bo zo ko ski ra from today from today your hand is not coming down rather you will lift up your flag of testimony you will lift up your flag of victory ayaba erosha heriki kabazo naria ikaraba irorora iradabaro ikadeda iradabao marokoskia in the name of jesus you have victory today. You have testimony today. The Amalekites are shamed. We build an altar to Jehovah Nisi. <laughs> the roaming group called Amalekite came. Israel built an altar. The Bible says they built an altar and called it Jehovah Nisi. Today we build an altar in this place. We call upon Jehovah Nisi. We declare and decree victory in your life favor in your life testimony in your life god gives you victory god gives you testimony in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus god will be your banner your banner of peace your banner of joy your banner of glory your banner of favor your banner of testimony in the name of jesus you will not be put to shame you will not bow you know about to adversity, you will build an altar to Jehovah. This morning, the Bible says that Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord. He rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and 12 pillars according to the 12 tribes of Israel. Exodus 24 verse 4. Today, altar against altar. We raise the altar of Jehovah. The altar of victory. The altar of testimony. We raise altar against altar. The altar that speaks your victory has been erected this morning. The altar that speaks your testimony has been erected this morning. Nomadic spirits, nomadic spirits that have been attacking you are silenced in the name of Jesus. Judges 6, 24. Then Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it, the Lord is peace. You see, every time God showed his name, they built an altar to respect that name. This day it is still standing at Ophrah, which belongs to the Abiezerite. We raise altar against altar. We raise Jehovah Nisi against everything that I've spoken against you. In the name of Jesus. Genesis 33 verse 20. There he erected an altar and called it El Elohi Israel. The place where Jacob met with the Lord. He called it El Elohi Israel. This day we raise an altar against every Amalekite. We speak your victory. We speak your testimony. We speak your testimony in the name of Jesus. Psalm 60 verse 4. Psalm 60 verse 4. You have set up a banner for those who fear you that they may flee to it from the bow. Oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You have set up a banner for those who fear you so that they can run under that banner from every bow, every bow, every arrow, every nomadic spirit that have risen against you as you have come under the name of the Lord, as you have come under Jehovah Nisi. You will not be shamed. You will not be put to shame. We speak your victory. We speak your testimony. We speak your favor, we speak your healing, we speak protection. You have come under the banner of the Lord this morning. 
The banner of the Lord speaks your victory. The name of the Lord, Jehovah Nisi, Nisi, Nisi. Jehovah Nisi is over your household, is over your life, is over your life, is over your household. Ah, weapons of failure, weapons of darkness, weapons of the nomadic people against you, uh, nomadic demons against you. Fail in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Psalm Solomon, Songs of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 4. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me is love. May the love of the Lord be over your life, over your house. You will see the love of God in manifestation from this morning. You will see the love of God in manifestation from this morning. You will see the love of God in manifestation from this morning. You will see the love of God in manifestation from this morning. In the, you will see the love of God in manifestation from this morning. The enemy will not have the final say. Psalm 20 verse 5. Psalm 20 verse 5. May we shout for joy over your salvation. And in the name of our God, set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. So we set up a banner in the name of our God, a banner of answered prayer. God will answer you, wipe your tears, and fill your mouth with laughter. Exodus 17 verse 15. Exodus 17 verse 15. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it, The Lord is my banner. Altar against altar. The Amalekites have a nomadic altar they are carrying around. Rubbish altar. Moses built an altar to Jehovah Nisi. Today we raise altar against altar. We raise the hand of God against the hand of the enemy. We shut the mouth of devils. We shut the mouth of the demonic. We declare victory. We declare testimony. We declare favor. We declare testimony. In Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 17, verse 5 and 6. Exodus 17, verse 5 and 6. And the Lord said to Moses, Pass on before the people, taking with you some of the elders of Israel, and take in your hand the staff which you, with which you struck the Nile, and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock at Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and water shall come out, and the people shall drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. This day, may the banner of the Lord be the man of your banner of your provision. Beyond your imagination. Where it seems as if the water had gone. Ah, this morning I just I just saw a revelation. Everyone on this altar who is going through a desert season like the waters have dried up, the God who made the waters to come out of the rock. This morning, receive a new season. 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 Jehovah may see shall make the water to flow out of the rock for you and give you testimony to the glory of his name. Provision, 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 provision. The water quenched their thirst. Water is life. Water is joy. Water is healing. Water is almost everything you can do without. Many things you can do without water. You can survive 50 days without food. Don't try it. You can't survive what without water for seven days. Raise the banner today. Supply is coming. The water will be gushing. The finance will be gushing. The breakthrough will be gushing. The abundance will be gushing. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I finish with Exodus 17, 11 to 13. Whenever Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed. When he lowered his hand, Amalek, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands grew weary. So they took a stone and put it under his arm. And, sat, and, and he sat on it while Aaron and her held up his hands. One on one side and the other on the other side so his hands were steady 
until the going down of the sun. And Joshua overwhelmed the Amalekites, Amalek and his people with a sword. May you overcome. May you overwhelm the enemy. May you, by the end of today, Nakai Ngozi Abarota, by the end of today, you will have an amazing testimony, an amazing miracle. In Jesus' name. God bless you richly. Kedubu Benis. Yostiben Diga, Yostiben Soe Buana Kubariki. Mwariba Kukumbrere, Iwamuzita Rayesu. Mkulunkulu Agubu Seisi. Good morning. Saubona. God bless you.